Hello guys and welcome. I hope that you well. My name is I play 4K, AK, I play 8K, AK, I play 16K or UHD King. During this video, I'm going to show you how much system RAM you need to encode 16K resolution. So uh, I'm encoding 16K resolution into 16K resolution today uh, through the FFmpeg++ application. It's going to be a freeware video encoding application, video editing application, simple video editing application that's going to encode videos all the way up to 16K resolution. Today I'm using Xeon E5 2699 v3 cpu that comes with the 18 physical cores and when hyper trading technology is enabled 36 logical cores total so 36 logical cores as you can see over here all the 36 logical cores right now as you can see i started uh just started the encoding it's like 12 seconds video encoding speed right now 2.4 fps um, Xeon E5 2699 V3 CPU running completely stock right now without any uh, hacking or modifying of the bias of the motherboard. It's running on a dual uh, socket uh, 2011 V3 uh, Chinese motherboard but only one CPU. But I'm going to install two Xeon E5 2699 V3 CPUs. But as you can see, I'm using 128 gigabyte of total system RAM. It's a buffered system RAM, like a desktop gaming RAM instead of server re register ECC RAM. But it doesn't matter, pretty much the same function. One except that the register ECC will check for the errors. Uh, but there is no errors. It's, it, you know, it used to be an errors when a long time ago in 1990s in 2000 when the um, programmers wasn't at this level and it was a lot of um, you know unstable debugging tools and operating system also the kernels was not as good as today's but anyways as you can see 94 80 percent of the usage not even 100 percent of the usage because i have lack of system ram so 124 gigabytes versus 128 gigabytes usage right now 97 percent is the usage so pretty much that's why i'm not utilizing all the cpu cores all the logical those uh, 36 logical cores because not enough of the system ram so pretty much to encode 16k resolution video from 16k resolution to 16k resolution video without any slowdowns by artificial code means that it's going to the pipeline wherever it's going uh, without any slowdowns if something is not enough you pretty much you need to have above 128 gigabytes of system ram if you're going to have 36 threads on intel cpus okay keep that in mind and uh, about 90 percent of the usage 92 percent of the usage not even 99 percent of the usage so i would say you will need to have about 160 gigabytes per CPU. So if you're going to use two of them in dual socket motherboards, you need to have above 256 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes will not be enough. So when it comes to DDR4, if you're going to use unregistered DIMM memory, such as I'm using today, which is the gaming desktop memory, not the server um, system RAM, that means that maximum capacity per DIMM will be 32 gigabytes unless you're going to use some very special UDIM, okay? And uh, that means that you will be able to use 128 gigabytes per CPU and it means that 16K resolution will uh, use above 128 gigabytes and it's not going to be enough for you pretty much 128 gigabytes per each CPU. That means that uh, you're not going to utilize 36 threads fully if your uh, maximum system RAM 128 gigabytes. Hopefully, guys, this makes sense, and this uh, idea applies to FFmpeg++ application for sure, or FFmpeg open source developer library if you would like to use that. But FFmpeg++ 
uh, application will have the user interface which is nice and it's going to be just click the buttons instead of writing the commands but I will integrate the command line as well I'm writing that application in Java right now uh, FFmpeg++ but it's going to utilize FFmpeg open source developer library and pretty much is going to be applied this rule will be applied to the future video editing applications as you can see because FFmpeg uh, open source developer library pretty much as open as possible and uh, it's just grabbing those type of frames without any slowdowns artificial slowdowns and uh, just throwing them to the pipeline and uh, converting the video file while it's encoding so as you can see on the Xeon E5 2699v3 CPU my speed is 2.4 2.2 right now I'm recording this video with Nvidia Shadow Play in real time on the same computer and it's uh, pretty much consuming some resources but 2.5 FPS average 16k resolution into the 16k resolution on 36 strat CPU from 2014 but 36 logical cores which is amazing two of them probably going to go to 5 FPS and it's going to be a great speed 5 FPS as you can see right now is 100% usage and 125 gigabytes of total 128 gigabytes 98% okay and getting down from 100% because not enough system RAM and FFmpeg sometimes does it it's just lowering the amount of the course but I lower the amount of the course artificially because if I'm going to increase amount of the co uh, course completely to utilize my 100% CPU I'm going to run out of the system RAM and everything will free freeze up okay just want to let you know so that's it guys that's it took 12 seconds of the 16k resolution video encoded to 16k resolution video above 100 a megabit per second how I achieved that 16k resolution I pretty much rendered them in 3ds max it was 3d animation perfect pixel and uh, 12 seconds resolution and then uh, I re-encoded it um,